What's up, fellow nerds, and welcome to Not Your Status Quo's Comic-Con at Home Quick Hit for Marvel's Hellstrom. So at the Marvel Hailstrom's panel, we got a first look at a trailer for the show, and I don't want to say shockingly, but shockingly, it looks pretty good. Uh, but I did notice that the Marvel logo was nowhere to be seen on this. Uh, and this is the last show that is going to be made by Marvel Television with Marvel Studios taking over all of the TV stuff. So I guess I'm not really surprised by that. So does that mean that uh, this is only going to be one season and then that's it? Yes. I think unless this just blows up Hulu. Don't look for any cliffhangers at the end of this season. Yeah, they're definitely going to refilm if there was one because this is, you know, a Jeff Loeb Marvel television production and not a Marvel studio. So, because they were going to have a bunch of shows on Hulu like Ghost Rider with Robbie Reyes, you know, Hailstrom, Modoc, a few others, and they all kind of got canceled. But this was already started filming. So I think that's why we're getting this season. But, you know, Damon Hailstrom, he is an exorcist and a cult investigator, and he has some supernatural powers. He can sense the supernatural, and he can summon soul fire. And he's also known as Son of Satan, which is because he is the actual Son of Satan. His mother married a man who she didn't know was Satan, but it was in disguise as a human, had the kids, and both him and his sister, Anna Hailstrom, have supernatural powers, and she's kind of better known as Satana Hailstrom. And in this trailer, it looks like she's definitely embracing her dark side a bit more than Damon, just kind of like it is in the comics. And the mom in the comics went crazy and died, but she seems to be alive in this trailer, or could this be some sort of trailer trick? Uh, he is an exorcist, so maybe she's possessed by something, and it does seem like there's different voices happening when she says, there he is, and my boy. And we'll show you that clip here. There he is, my boy. And maybe season one is them trying to save her this whole time. Well, definitely something to uh, keep in mind is I've noticed um, with uh, especially the MCU um, and a little bit with, uh, you know, Marvel television, the fact that they tend to deviate a little bit from the comics when they're trying to you know, bring the medium to the TV. So I think the the most famous one that I can think of is um, the, the one that you bring up uh, uh, relatively often, uh, the idea of the scrolls. Currently in the MCU, the scrolls are the, you know, are the good guys. So the fact that four characters that were normally uh, considered dead in the uh, for the TV show, where it's uh, hard to tell the direction that Marvel is going to go with uh, some of their properties. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right, Doug. I mean, definitely, you know, they're definitely going to change some things up, maybe to make it a little better for television. You know, and it definitely, you know, we've seen a lot of changes from the comics that come into the movies. You know, in this trailer, we also see some side characters. We see uh, Dr. Louise Hastings, who is an occult expert and was uh, Damon's mentor in the comics. And then we also see Caretaker, who is a member of the Blood and Guardian of the Medallion of Power. And yes, that is its name, the Medallion of Power. So maybe hopefully they'll change that up in the comics. But hey, the trailer looked great. It's coming uh, to Hulu on October 16th of this year. Are you guys excited? What are your thoughts? You know, put it down in the comments. We'd love to have conversations with everyone about this.